Hello everyone, welcome back again to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning into today's video. How are you doing today? So if you are new here, just go ahead to click on the subscribe button to join the family. Share this video to friends and family. Leave a comment on what you think about this video. Today's video is a detailed tutorial on how to tint, bleach, plug and also make a frontal wig. So yeah, this is the hair I'll be using for the tutorial and this hair, this is this whole process or this wig is going to be for a bride. I'm still going to do the bridal hair. I'm, going to, I'm still going to teach you guys how to install and also do the bridal hair. That will be like the next video coming up. So like I said before, this is the hair I'm going to be using or rather this is the frontal I'll be using for the whole process. And uh, you guys already know that we sell hairs, we sell wigs, like luxury ones, luxury, like the best quality. And they are all affordable. Our link will be in the description box below. Or you can go ahead to check us on www.exquisitesignature.com. It's on the screen. So yeah, or you check the description box below for the link. And yeah, I also sell hair products. All the products used here will be on the website as well. All right, back to the tutorial. What I love to do first is to just check the measurement of the frontal and the normal measurement of the frontal or the normal measurement of a human being is that's the front part, that's our forehead. The normal measurement is 11. But if the person have like big head, you can do 11.5 or even 12, just depending on on how big the person's head is and then this is like the whole measurement that's for making wig so this is what it looks like this is the whole measurement of a complete human being's head and if you want me to explain this whole measurement you can let me know in the comment section below as well so yeah i like to take the measurement of the frontal first that's the length of the frontal first and for this one it's a little bit big like it's 12 uh, so i'm going to be reducing it because for my client head is 11 that's her forehead is 11 and this frontal right here is 12 inch so i'll be taking off like one inch out of the frontal so i'm just i'm not going to just take out one inch because the front actually comes in a pattern so i'm going to be doing like half on the left hand side and half on the right hand side hope you guys get it so i'm going to be taking off half inch on the left hand side and half inch on the right hand side so yeah i'm going to be using my scissors to just take out that part from the back that's from the front i'm going to turn it first after measuring it i'm going to turn the hair so yeah i'm going to turn it to the front side and then use my tail comb to just pat out that excess part i've already marked before initially using my um permanent pen to mark so i'm going to take um the tail comb to just trace that line and then after tracing the line carefully i'm going to use my scissors to just trim off that excess part so after doing this on this side i'm going to repeat the same step on the left or the other side of the frontal this is so that i don't get to cut out excess like so much out of the frontal and you know like i said before frontals always comes in a pattern so i decided to do this video because i got so much request on the last installation frontal installation i uploaded few weeks back so so many of you wanted to see how i tint bleach and plug and also like make a wig like a proper wig like a professional and then again i see so many people doing this in a not in a good way like so many of us like me too i used to do it like that before like i used to do that same method before so that's why i have decided to do because i went for classes for like few months and i learned a lot from that classes so i decided to bring it to you guys for free so yeah that's what i'm going to be teaching you guys today and if you have any question or questions you can leave it in the comment section below for bleaching, we'll be taking about two tablespoons of the bleach powder since it's a frontal hair or yeah, since it's a frontal hair. And then I'm going to be taking out um, like about one tablespoon of developer mix. Uh, then I'm going to use one tablespoon of developer and then I'm going to mix everything together. So yeah, after mixing, this is what it should look like. It should look 
it should have this consistency it should not be too thick and it should not be too watery and after mixing we just go ahead to apply the product on the back of the frontal so i'm just applying it gradually and i like to start from the inside like not the front part of the frontal i like to start from the inside and then walk my way through the front the reason is because of the processing um when i whenever you tend to start from the out outside that's the front part of the front eye. it tends to process very fast so that's why i like to start from the inside so the back front eye doesn't process that fast so that's why i like to start from the inside or the yeah the inside of the front eye don't process that fast so that's why i like to start from the inside of the front eye before walking my way through or moving forward to the front part of the front eye. hope you guys get my explanation and yeah for the application i'm just using my comb to do this and don't forget that all products listed here all the products i'm going to be using here for this video will be on our website so just go ahead to check our website out and the link of the website will be in the description box below or you can go ahead to type www.exquisitesignature.com which is on your screen right now to get your product so we apply the product all over the back of the frontal and then allow it for about 15 minutes before i go ahead to rinse and once it's 15 minutes i'm just going to go ahead to rinse it off with just water no shampoo nothing just rinse it off with just water alone because we are still going to move over to tinting the lace so yeah this is what it looks like you can go ahead to stop here but we really want the frontal to look natural after the installation so we're just going to go ahead to tint the lace and for tinting i'm going to be using this adult dye and also going to use we'll be mixing it together with wheat dye in chocolate because our client is not so fair she is um she's in between not fair and not dark so next we pour hot water water into this dye and then mix it so well before i go ahead to put the frontal uh, we'll put the frontal into the hot water what i like to do is to start from the inside of the frontal not the front front part of the frontal like the inside of the frontal we'll put that first before i go ahead to dip in all the part of the frontal into the hot water and i'm going to allow it for like 15 minutes and then after that we we'll just go ahead to rinse with just water and not conditioner just water alone and yeah our frontal is ready but not fully ready because we still need to pluck the frontal so that it will also look natural when we install it next is plucking the frontal and for plucking i love to pluck the hair um when it's wet and i don't like to plug it when it's dry because when it's dry it's very hard to take off but when it's wet it's easier to just you know tweeze out so i'm going to be using my tweezer to do so to go through the process so the first thing i like to do when plucking i like to like um section the hair into four different portions so for the four different portions two portions by the left hand side and two portions by the right hand side and then start from the left hand side or the right hand side any one that you prefer um so yeah and then just start plucking and plucking light-handedly because we don't want to over pluck and for the first portion i don't like to start plugging from the front part of the frontal i like to pluck from the back part of the frontal and then gradually gravitate into the front part of the frontal light-handedly this is because i don't want to over pluck so like i said before i like to start from the back for plugging and then gradually to the front part of the front arm and for plugging i like to use water so as i'm plugging i'm also spraying water around the hair just so that it can be easy for me to pull off the hair as i'm plugging with my tweezer so once i'm done with this part we'll just go ahead to continue plugging or plug the rest part of the front arm
and yeah this is what it looks like after plugging it looks so natural okay at this point i'm just going to allow it to dry first before i go ahead to start wigging the hair or the wig it's dry now we'll just go ahead to place the frontal on a wig cap and then secure it with needle and thread and i will also be sewing this or be sewing bundles like three bundles on the wig cap as well i'm going to be doing that at the back of the wig cap so yeah this is how i like to sew the bundles of the wig cap and i'll be doing the turnover method i'm not going to be cutting any weft because i want everything to be flat that's why i'm sewing it like this i want everything to be flat and so that when i'm installing or after installation it everything will just lay so flat at the back so i see most people doing this differently and all but this method will really help you guys trust me it helps a lot for the installation of the frontal i makes it so easy that's from all the whole thing everything i just did like the tinting bleaching plucking and also the installation or the making of the wig so yeah i'm just going to go on to sew in like three bundles onto the wig cap using my sewing machine and like you guys can see i am doing the turnover method won't be cutting any weft like i said before because we don't want to cut any of our client weft so we'll just be sewing in all three bundles like so with our sewing machine or on our sewing machine like if you want a video on how to measure bundles and how to sew in using on a sewing machine any question at all you can just let me know in the comment section below and i'll be there to reply all the questions guys like i said before all products used even for revamping i filmed a video on how to revamp i'm going to be leaving the link in the description box below how to revamp your hairs on your own at home and how to treat your hairs on your own at home i'm going to be leaving the link in the description box below so that you can easily go and check it out for all the products used um for tinting bleaching and all is going to be on our website so you can go ahead to check it out and also all the products used for revamping and treatment is also on our website so just go ahead to check our website out to see. and also we have affordable luxury hairs for you guys and uh, you can go ahead to check it out on our website as well is what the sewing looks like again i adjusted the wig cap that's why it's looking like this at the back so i adjusted it because her head is really small it's pretty small we don't want the wig cap to be so big on her head so i adjusted it at the back and yeah if you want an adjustment video uh, how to adjust the wig cap just let me know in the comment section below so yeah thank you so much for watching thank you for sticking around to the end hope you enjoyed and you're able to learn something new from this video do not forget to share the video to friends and family leave a comment in the comment section below subscribe if you haven't and i will talk to you guys in my next video stay blessed bye mm -hmm.